Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm wearing my contacts again. I'm thinking maybe they were just too dry last time. Um, so this time I took them right out of the solution in the case and they popped right in. Um, so we'll see. So far they're feeling okay. When I blink it gets a little blurry before it like clears up. I almost feel like they're too big for my eyes, but they say that um, they only come in one size. So Anyway, I'm here because a lot of people, when I showed them this book in my haul, uh, they really wanted to hear my review on it. So these are my thoughts on Forbidden by Tabitha, Tabitha Suzuma. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard about this book because this was like a big topic of controversy or, or I don't know if you want to say controversy, but just a big topic of discussion for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read the inside flap to you. And I had to ask somebody how to pronounce this boy's name. And so if I'm still getting it wrong, I apologize. But I believe it was Lockin. Lockin? Lockin? So it says, Lockin and Maya have always felt more like friends than siblings. Together they have stepped in for their unreliable, alcoholic mother to take care of their three younger siblings. The stress of their lives and the way they understand each other so completely has brought them closer than two siblings would ordinary, ordinarily be. So close that they have fallen in love. Locke and Amaya know their relationship is wrong and cannot possibly continue. And yet they are powerless to stop what feels so incredibly right. So yes, it is about consensual incest. A very, very taboo subject. And all I have to say is that Tabitha Suzuma tackled this brilliantly. I really, really loved the story and the way she wrote it. Um, going into it, I wasn't sure what it was all going to consist of or exactly how it was going to unfold. And she just did an amazing job with it. Uh, we got a lot of background on the family at the beginning before anything even happens um, between the, the brother and sister, which is great because it lets you know what they were going through and what their lives were like and kind of how things progressed to what it did. Um, I don't really condone that kind of relationship um, more because of the whole blood thing. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you ever had kids, they would have a lot of issues, usually. Um, I do believe that you can't help who you fall in love with but I also believe that us as human beings who have free will and who have uh, the power of choice um, can decide not to go that route I do believe in that so I'm I don't frown upon what they felt for each other um, because I can see that happening. I can see a lot of confusion though on on feelings um, because of their situation and they had to lean heavily on each other um, that they may have mistaken what they were feeling for something stronger. Um, but I'm not them. I don't know for sure. But I do frown upon that they followed through. Um, especially everybody that was put at risk because of it. Um, but the way they went about it, though, they did definitely have other people in mind. They did. Um, their emotions got the best of them um, quite a few times. And, or but, I should say, they were strong enough and they were smart enough to stop and not take it any further. And that was great. They were kids, 16 and 17 at the time, um, up, you know, until he turned 18. And uh, because of what they had to go through um, at home, they actually had, they actually were more mature than other kids their age. And so they did, they didn't just jump into this all with emotions and lust and whatever you want to say and uh, hormones and 
then instead they analyzed everything and they thought about things and it was uh, just very well written, very well written. Um, the ending, the ending to me was very, definitely mature, mature, mature. <laughs> um, and I definitely was very disappointed in the decision they chose. Um, very disappointed. And due to that decision, things just got really bad. And it was a very sad ending because of that. And... Yeah, you can pull you can you can pull so much out of this book. Um, you have to go into it with an open mind, though. You can't go into it with disgust because of the consensual incest. Um, you have to go into it with an open mind. And I didn't sit there when I read it. I didn't sit there thinking, "Oh, that's disgusting." They're brother and sister. I can't believe they're doing this or even thinking this. No, I tried to put myself into their position uh, just for the more of the feelings and the emotions. Um, I don't think I could ever, uh, actually I know that I can never, uh, regardless of how much of a connection I have, I don't have a brother, but I do have a cousin that I was kind of close with, um, no matter how close our relationship was, I can never see us being physically intimate, no, um, no, but he was definitely there. We were definitely there for each other. And he was definitely there for me to lean on him a lot. Um, but it was like a best friend. And that's that's it. So I... Uh, the emotional part of what they had, I guess I can kind of understand. Um, especially after you read their story. But for the physical part, I just don't know how that ends up feeling okay. Um... And like I said, if it ever comes to that, especially if you are a brother and a sister, you have the decision to walk away. And that, I believe strongly that that's what should happen. Um, I do believe people have the right to love who they want to love. And I guess the main reason I feel like a brother and sister shouldn't be intimately involved, not just because of the whole blood thing. Um, and I'm really not one to really judge, I, you know, each to his own. Um, but the whole... If children were to become involved that's you can't you can't do that you can't do that um, and there's always that chance anytime you're physically intimate with somebody there's always that chance uh, protection is not 100% um, so yeah definitely a deep book a taboo subject that she tackled like I said very well um, if I would have read this book in 2010 this would have been my top, one of my top books for the year and um yeah the only thing like I said the only thing that kind of upset me like I said is when they made that final decision um I felt like the other decisions that they made were based more off of just strong emotions and the situations they were in and they were strong enough and smart enough like I said earlier to to pull away but the decision they made in the end I was not um, happy with at all and the outcome of it would just turned out horrible um, but yeah um, as long as you go into this book with an open mind I think you'll really like it if you have any qualms about this taboo subject um, you'll probably end up being more disgusted with it um but then reading their story you may end up getting a more open mind um and like i said i'm not not condoning this at all not at all um because i when i read the story i read more than just a brother and sister but if, if you understand that so so yeah this is forbidden by tabitha suzuma and those are my thoughts bye